Hello everyone and welcome to the Four Immortal Sisters Challenge. Now massive apologies that we didn't get an episode of this on Thursday when it was scheduled but most of you do know that uh, my grandmother is very sick and a lot of the time you know I do need to spend time with her so if I don't get to record it is only because of unforeseen circumstances so my huge apologies but we are here and we are here today and we're here with a new update. Now the game will look is slightly different because I had to take out all of my custom content. So the custom content seats or couches and table and all that jazz and I've also had to change the girls hair because I've had to take out nearly everything. I've kept um, steel hair hairs so Fia still has her fabulous Voxy red hair and what I'll be doing is I'll be testing each of the custom content as I go along. If you've been having problems since updating if you have custom content I would suggest you take it all out and just start again. Just, just really just start again. So anyway let's get into this. So our little Audrey what are you up to Audrey? Now we don't have enough money to buy a basement or I would love to have bought a basement but we can't. She needs to work on her creativity skills so I'm going to get her to resume people on there and <clears throat> we do have basements but we don't have enough money for basements. Sadly we don't however or Aurora, Aurora, <laughs> Aura does have enough painting skill to use the new paint from reference so I've not tried this so let's try a medium paint for reference and see see what happens shall we because I don't really know if it has to be something in the vicinity or or what I'm not entirely sure so we'll see what happens okay so it looks like it is it looks like it is something unless I can okay so it needs to be something within the vicinity of or does it does it or can I move the arrows down no okay so let's paint for reference <laughs> I don't even know let's paint for reference the there must be other ways to do this I'll figure it out but for reference let's just do the cow plant first of all <laughs> I think I could have moved that a little bit better but we'll get her to do the cow plant. So she is feeling stranger danger for Mr. Jeffrey Landgrab. He's been eaten by the plant once already and we are just waiting for the cake to pop out of the cow's mouth. Only in the Sims can you really hear that sentence. Um, Marissa darling you need to get up and we need to cook some stuff so I need to clean out the spoiled food and then we want to let's try and cook a gourmet meal. Let's make some pasta primavera. Pasta primavera. Let's go for that. And as with her hair let me just show you her hair. I couldn't get the hair that she had so she now has a steel hick here and because of that she didn't have the colour of hair so things look a little bit crazy in here guys but in the next day or so I will be trying to get it all figured out so it will go back to normal but bear with me. So she's going to clean out that food and then cook her pasta primavera and I would really really like to get I really like Audrey to get out for the day because, I mean, she is a kid and she is kind of sitting in the house all day. Once Aura, once Aura has finished this painting, which I actually think looks quite good, I think we'll maybe try and get her to take her out maybe to the park or something like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. Or maybe we could put a new lot in, that sort of thing. Fia is preggers and she is had morning sickness. She's in her second trimester currently and she's not very happy. She wants to be friendly with Jeffrey and kiss someone. So we'll use Jeffrey while he's here. Let's do this. I kind of like to think of him as Joffrey, you know, from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Those of you who have seen uh, Game of Thrones will be... Have we used him for a baby yet though? No, we haven't. So do we we can't really well, we have to sacrifice him. Why are you going all the way <laughs> Why are you going all the way out there? That makes no sense. We have no couch for the television because quite frankly, guys, we cannot afford a couch. We are screwed. Totally screwed with that. Have you finished that, my sweetheart? You have. 
Wonderful. Okay, so we got 141 simoleons from the books. Let's have a look at this paint for reference. That's all right. How much will she get for that if she sells it? She can create a copy. This will be for get to work. She can create a copy of it or sell to collect. So let's do that. Let's sell to collect and see what she gets for it. Cost is £50 to get it. So let's see. How is her painting skill? She's doing well, but level 6 and she's level 5 rating. So, excellent. So, I, we gained 100 simoleons for that, so that's pretty good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her to travel. So, travel with Audrey. Now, I know necessarily that these girls aren't supposed to leave the house, but to me, she's responsible for Audrey's upbringing she's responsible for making her a well-rounded individual and well-rounded individuals do not stay in the house 24 7 so i think it's acceptable for me to take audrey out and i think what i'm going to actually do guys is i am going to pause here and i'm going to install a fun lot for them to go to and i'll be right back all right you guys so let's get this started so Aura, 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 we are going to travel with our little Audrey. And it gives them time to bond as well. Now, whenever you do travel now, you will get to see currently where you are. But if you want to go to the other town, you click up to World Select. And it brings up Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, which I think is awesome. And you can also, if you click up there, you can go to, what's it called? The other place. <laughs> the other place. But we're going to head over to Willow Creek today because over in Willow Creek there is a new water park opened. So we are going to go to the water park. Still called the Bargain Ben Water Park but we'll just ignore that for the purposes of this Let's Play. So the new water park has opened and Aura is keen, is keen to get little lady here. Um get her excited so we're going to tell her an unbelievable story without looking at her because that's what happens we're going to get you to tend garden actually okay now this is a really cool lot i'm just going to kind of give you a wee give you a little tour i don't know if they can actually swim up here or whether it's just meant to look like they can because I don't, I don't think that that's filled with water, is it? No. <laughs> so I don't know how that's supposed to work. Oh, no, it is. Can you actually swim here? Oh, okay. Let's let's go up to the rooftop then. Mr. Landgrab's son is here. Mr. What's his face? What's his face? I don't know his face. But we'll get um, Audrey introduced to him anyway. So it'd be nice for her to have friends. This is pretty cool. It is a pretty cool lot to give it its due. It has two, three swimming pools. It's got the kids thing. It's got a barbecue area. It's got a climbing frame. It's pretty awesome, really. That is cool. That is really, really cool. I like how they've done that. You can download that. It's called bargain underscore bligung. And it's from a creator called Chuchino, which is C-H-U-C-H-U-N. A. So, yeah. So they're going to get to know each other. Um, we're going to splash. Coach swimming. I've not seen that before, but that's pretty awesome. So we're going to do that. I've not actually seen her, but she looks pregnant until you look there and then she looks fine. But she, <laughs> but she does kind of look a bit pregnant. Hello, missies. What's your name? Latoya. Latoya needs a shower for sure. Can we shout over? No, we can't. We can't because we don't know him. He's too far away. Ryder Herman. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get her to get out. Because I want her to join the pirate adventure. I kind of want her to make friends. I think that that would be really nice for her to do that. Okay, if you tend your garden, you have. So why don't you build the... Mm, you can socialise with... I don't know. Who do you want to socialise with, darling? Jensen. Why not? You socialise with him. And then you can build your cooking skill. Then you can just care for yourself. Why not? Why not? 
Okay, so she's joining the pirate adventure. Because I'm kind of like, you know, although this is sort of popping babies out and whatnot to <laughs> to repopulate the town, I still want each of them to have a wee personality. And I think that Audrey is just super cute. I really do think she's cute. Can we actually do a funny introduction to him? She's acquired the motor skill. Interesting. Can we introduce ourselves to this guy here? She's like, no, I'm busy playing pirate. I'm playing pirate. <laughs> I'm playing pirate. I'm not interested. So these are kind of nice toilets as well, aren't they? Now, she's not supposed to cook, but obviously she's here. You know, she's not at home cooking. So let's go ahead and grill some... She likes her health, so we're going to get her to grill. There's loads of kids here. This is actually awesome. Is she going to go up beside him? Nice. Okay. So let's talk about favourite animal. Because he's so cute. Ryder is adorable. Look at his little... Look at his little wellingtons. They're so cute. They're so cute. You can totally tell the Sims that had custom content hairstyles. <laughs> Her over there, him there, because they're all bald. How cute is he? He's lovely. Okay, so little Ryder Herman. So I want to make friends. So tell a make-believe story. She wants to play in trash. It's not happening. She wants to chat with Aura. That can happen. Ask about day... Make fun of adults, because that's what kids do, and make a silly face. Okay, she's just going to have her grilled fruit alongside Kale Gufuston, or Gustafsson, or whatever you want to say. So, while this is happening, guys, I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm going to tell you a little story. So this week, I decided that I didn't want to be a redhead anymore. I decided that I wanted to be... Um, I don't even know what I wanted to be, but I didn't want to be a redhead anymore. I wanted to change. So, I used this colour before, and what apparently what it does is it strips your hair of all the artificial colouring, excuse me, that it's ever had, and sends you back to your natural colour. So, I used it, and it worked. It certainly did strip it back, but it turns out that my natural colour is actually a dark blonde. I can never remember my hair being a dark blonde, but then I've been dyeing my hair for a long time. So she wants to chat with Aura. So now my hair colour is completely different and I'm not really sure what to do with it. <laughs> there you go. Random, I know, but there you go. She wants... So let's talk about school then. You want to talk to her. She'll go ahead and do that. Well, I really like this park. I've decided. Although this swimming pool is a little bit small for the four of you guys. <laughs> Okay, Aura is tense. Why are you tense, Aura? She's tense because of all the strangers. Okay, that'll be why. Okay, she's coming in. Are you having an argument? Charlene Tyler and her... Titus. Mr. Titus. I really think if you were going to pick to swim anywhere, I would swim here. Personally. You know. Yes, there you go. Swim there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, now what you can do is you can teach her coach swimming. So I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back. Let's switch control. Let's go back. Let's leave them there enjoying their day. And we'll go and switch control to Miss Fia and see what she's actually up to at the moment. I'm really excited for Get to Work, guys. I will be doing an LP reveal very soon so you know what the LP is going to be. It's not just going to be... Like you get to work, it's going to have a bit more backstory to it and stuff like that, which I'm really excited to do. So I think that you'll hope, well, I hope that you'll enjoy it. I really do hope that you'll enjoy it. Rafia, I thought you were socialising. I want you to chat with Tara. That wasn't who I wanted you to socialise with. She is quite hungry, so I'm going to get her to grab a serving of that. Um, your lifetime wish, darling, is to make four great catches. So I'm going to send her fishing again. She's probably sick, <laughs> sick fed up of this fishing spot. Now, a lot of you guys have said, or a number of you guys have said to me that um, you want her to, or you want them to have boyfriends. So I want to know if that's a kind of general consensus. 
in the challenge it says that I don't think it says in the challenge that they can't I just wouldn't think that they could but because you can't really leave the house and whatnot but then if she's leaving she could quite easily meet someone while she's fishing so I suppose let me know below what you think whether or not you would like her to do it also as well there's a bit of a treasure hunt going on with the new patch apparently if you go and look in all the frog spots you can find easter eggs which then unlocks a sort of achievement type scenario so that might be quite interesting okay she's getting her jog on i don't know how i feel about the clothes i'm actually not missing I am missing some of the custom content clothes, but not a lot. So I think what I might do is just totally restart my CC again and just be more picky. So I'm cho choosing this examine water because I don't really know what it's all about. Most fish here will eat anything as long as it's organic, they're biting. Okay, so we're going to fish with some grapes. Okay, that'll be good. So she can do that and then hopefully she'll get some great catches and um, <clears throat> excuse me, move up to level 6 with the fishing skill. Marissa, how are you doing? You need to cook two meals while inspired. So let's get you inspired. So let's take a thoughtful shower. Fia, honey, you are just tense. Ted has just caught an electronic upgrade part. <laughs> like you would. Oh, look guys oh jeffrey it's time it's time for our third sacrifice we've actually we've only got one kid and we're up to three sacrifices <laughs> we need to start having multiples that's what we need to have right mister you need to come in and eat this cake but we all know what it means dum dum da dum dum da dum da dum da dum it's a death march dum dum da dum 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 da dum 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 bye jeffrey thank you for your contribution to this project i am so pleased that you could contribute <laughs> oh dear okay he is oh the grim reaper oh yes fia can talk to the grim reaper how is our relationship now? I can't believe the Grim Reaper has an iPad. <laughs> the Grim Reaper. Has... No, we're not going to plead for Joffrey. Oh, look, they have a romance. Oh, a romance. Exciting stuff. Also, someone said that... Um, I can't remember who it was, and I'm really, really sorry, but they said to actually make a graveyard in town. So I think I'm going to do that, because I think that would be fun. Sorry, I had to move in my chair. Well, this is new. In the presence of death, from witnessing death. She's such a sensitive sim, isn't she? I mean, Marissa is so sensitive. She gets so upset. I mean, she hardly knows these people. But, but she gets really, really upset. I'm going to bring these guys home. To bring Aura home. And bring Audrey home. But I'm sure they have had a beautiful day when they've been out. Audrey's desperate for a pee. So I'm going to get her to go and use that bathroom and Terra's just caught a lemon wonderful wonderful and you can put that in your inventory okay so he's dead right Fia before he goes oh no why can't I talk to him Grammy Grammy go and share the big news for him he probably expects it because he's really used to you having that sort of news <laughs> oh I know what we can do Painting from reference. Let's get a picture of the Grim Reaper. <gasps> Let's do that. Right, you keep him. You keep him distracted. Go for it. Let's um, heartfelt compliment. Get to know and gossip a little bit. Right, let's paint the Grim Reaper from reference. This is going to be exciting. Going to be exciting. Okay. Can we? Right. Let's just get a picture we're happy with. And then I think you can... You pitch it up, pitch it down, rotate, rotate. Okay, so... Let's take the picture of the back of the Grim Reaper. <laughs> it'd be good to get the front of him, but I think it'd be quite good. So let's do that. Let's get a Grim Reaper picture. How awesome is that? So it's like her chatting up the Grim Reaper. <laughs> She's super sad. Oh, Marissa. 
Marissa, don't cry it out, Alan. I needed you to be inspired. Now you're going to be sad for 11 hours. Jesus. Tara also has got her notebook. The notebook is a new thing, which is up here. And it's any time that your sim is fishing or gathering herbs or anything like that, they make some notes about it in the notebook. And it was a trout and she caught it by using grapes. So that kind of gives you the hint there that for trout, you need to use grapes or that helped at that point. So I thought that was quite, quite groovy that it does that. So was that a great catch? No, it wasn't a great catch, but she's getting there. So that's, that's the main thing. We do need to get her to come home and milk this. We currently have got, how many of the life forms do we have? We have got two, two essence of lives, is that right? Oh my god, don't, are you, no, oh, she's playing with them, thank the lord. <laughs> I thought that she was actually going to do something right, come and draw some stuff down so your creativity gets up. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that we have got two already. Let's open the stack, yeah, we've got Laurent and we've got Johnny. And this will be our third guy. So that'll be good. <laughs> well, it's not really good. I mean, we, we really we don't want someone to die. You know, it's not fun. Where did where did Grimmy go? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Grimmy's away. Okay. Fia had to go to the toilet, but Grimmy is gone. I don't think um, Grimmy actually comes back if you phone him. But we, can, we can try. Why is it so dark in some of the rooms? I must have had custom content lights. <laughs> okay. So you have that wonderful darling. Proud of you. So let's go ahead and put his one in there. His headstone. Did it go in there or did it plant somewhere else? It's Jeffrey Landgrab's tomb. <laughs> Poor Jeffrey. Hey, what to do before you go to sleep? Come and get some serving of this. Okay. So to get in the next bit of her artistic prodigy, she needs to get to level five of the creativity skills. So that is what we are doing. Marissa is sad. She is sad and she's going to go and mourn different people. So we definitely need to move this from the graveyard because I really just don't want her coming out here. She's the only one that does it. What kind of traits does she have that would maybe... It's maybe because she's family orientated. I'm not really sure, but she definitely takes it harder than the rest of them. She's the only one that actually goes out and mourns them. Oh, okay. So, alright, okay. I thought it would actually sit like that, which would have been pretty cool. And we'll put him there in front of him. I don't know why... <laughs> <laughs> and we can do the move objects in a minute, but I think I am going to move it to the graveyard because I think that is going to be the best bet. Otherwise, she's just going to spend half her day just howling and crying at that bit. And I really just don't want that. Look, she's so distraught. She's having a nap. <laughs> she's so cute. She really is. I can't wait to get her normal hair back. It feels so strange having her with that hair. So she is feeling pretty energised and is going to go and clean. Well, you can't clean, sweetheart. I'm really sorry. I'm glad you want to, but you can't. You want to be the friend of the world, so have eight different friends. So let's have a look and we can see who we can... Well, we'll see if he'll come over. No, he won't, but why don't you phone him? <laughs> look at the ghosts. <laughs> I wonder if they'll remain friends. We didn't even get a baby off Joffrey. Sad times. We need to start sacrificing women. <laughs> That's what we need to do. We need to start sacrificing women. We'll invite Cassandra over next. I really just want a baby off Grimmy. I know that might sound really strange, but I do. So, I love little... Hello, darkness. Oh! Have a sim befriend the Grim Reaper. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so Grimmy. Grimmy is now our friend. He's good enough to be our friend. Why don't we invite Cassandra over to hang at the current lot? What time is it, Audrey? Could you do me something else, Alan? Could you put that in your inventory? 
do that for me, that'd be awesome. So we need to kind of make, oh there she, she's here already, wonderful. So let's get to know her a little bit and we will, can we not just invite her in, is that not an option? Oh no, guys that has went by so fast. Well, as you just heard, that is the duck, the duck, the duck, the duck of doom. So that is it. That is finished. I don't want to finish. I may record another part because I'm really enjoying playing with these girls today. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment below if you want me to get them some romantic interests so that they can, you know, woohoo and whatnot. And uh, the next time you see a part, it's going to be when Get to Work is out. <gasps> How crazy is that? Um, yeah, but I hope you're having an amazing day. Did she finish the portrait? Oh, she did. That's awesome. I'm wondering if when painting skill increases, whether that will get more, like, high quality. It's still great, but I'm just wondering whether or not, you know, it'll get better quality. But anyway, guys, have an amazing day, and I love you very much, and thank you for joining me, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.